Hello and a very warm welcome to Sora Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on geology and geophysics. We will be dealing with the theoretical as well as with the analytical concepts. So let's get started without wasting any further time. So the question reads as 2 gram air dried coal contain 0.2 gram moisture, this amount of ash and this amount of volatile matter. It is said that the volatile matter content in the coal in dry mineral matter free basis is and we have to calculate this value in percentage. Okay, so let's do it. So we have been provided with weight of let me reduce the ink size a little weight of coal to be 2 gram this is air dried then you have moisture which is 0 0.2 gram then you have ash which is 0 0.3 and volatile matter is actually 0 0.5 so we need to calculate the, the volatile matter in coal in actually dry matter free and that too in percentage. So we don't know this and the mineral matter content let us calculate this first is equal to 1.1 into ash content. So we will take this value. So we have 1.1 into 0 0.3 this becomes equal to 0 0.33 grams. Next the volatile matter becomes weight of coal less moisture less mineral matter. So this is equal to 2 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.33. So this is equal to 1.47. So we have to calculate in percentage. So V is equal to this percentage will be 0 0.5 by 1.47 into 100. So this becomes 34.01 percent is the R answer. Moving on to the next question. So the next question reads as the hydraulic conductivity K of an isotropic aquifer is 10 per day. If the hydraulic head within the aquifer actually drops to 4 meters. So let me write K is given to be 10 meter per day conductivity head loss is given to be is actually given h1 minus h2 this is 4 meters now over a distance of 750 meters so i'm denoting distance we have so i'll denote it using the symbol l so it is 750 meters so the groundwater flow velocity within the aquifer is so we need to comment on the ground wa water flow velocity and correct it up to three decimal places so the ground water flow velocity and the notation used for this, this velocity q is actually given by so this is the formula which we are going to use k into h1 by minus h2 by l this is equal to 10 into 4 by 750 we will get 40 by 750 and this value is equal to 0 0.0533 meter per day. This is the answer. So the answer becomes 0 0.0533. Okay. It will be 0 0.0533. Moving on to the next question. 
the next question is this the question says drainage network or watershed ordered as per strahler method is given below what we need to do we need to comment on the maximum observed bifurcation bifurcation ratio for the given network so first we will actually define the bifurcation ratio so bifurcation ratio is the ratio between the number of stream segments of one order and the number of next highest order okay so from the figure which is given here we can find we or we can see that the number of first order stream so we will count so it is 26 and if you go on uh, I made a mistake we only need to calculate the order stream so it will be 27 actually okay the number of second order stream is actually 13 for the third order stream it is 5 fourth order stream it is actually 2 and for the fifth order stream is also equal to 2 okay so given this what we are gonna do we need to find now the bifurcation code so let us see so bifurcation 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 co ratio is equal to number of second order stream or streams by number of third order streams So here it is 13 second and then 5. So you have 13 by 5 and the bifurcation ratio becomes 2.6. So we get the answer as 2.6. So with this we actually wind up today's tutorial. I hope this short tutorial on geo logy and geophysics was helpful to you guys if yes then don't forget to hit the like button if you have if you want us to make any videos with regard to any of the topics that means if you have some video request or if you want us to make some videos on some special topics related to geology and geophysics you can comment on the comment section down below do subscribe to our channel as we upload videos on daily basis okay and it will be very helpful for you guys so if you subscribe to our channel you get you can keep a track of the videos that we upload and do share our videos if you find it helpful then share it with your friends and family so they can also get a lot of information and they can also be you know broaden their environment or broaden their bag of knowledge and thank you so much for watching